This program is rated PG. It contains themes and scenes which may not be suitable for very young audiences. Parental guidance is advised. Be advised that the views and opinions of the hosts and guests do not reflect those of the station. stories of hobbies in their lifelong pursuit to happiness. I am your host, Tisha Polinario. Join Verna Ascarga and I as we learn more about the different trends and activities of the people here in the metro. Experience the best life has to offer with us here on Hobby Life. And today we have on the set with us, Thomas Regala. Yes, and um, a very great topic today. Probably one of um, where the word hobbies probably stems from and it's called, and they are tabletop games. So, Thomas, uh, could you give us a brief background of what tabletop games are? Uh, sure. Um, uh, tabletop games basically are, well, as the name implies, they're actually games played on the table tabletop. Used to be it's board games, mm -hmm. card games, um, as opposed to video games and console games. You know, the old school chess. Oh, oh. So in a way, chess is also, also considered a tabletop. A tabletop. Yes, um, technically back then, you know, you, anything that's played on the tabletop considered a tabletop game. But nowadays, you know, you can play anywhere yeah. as long as it's you know more of the analog type cards, dice, figurines. Oh, okay. So basically, things that aren't in a phone or whatever. Not in a phone. Not yeah, in a not digital. Phone. We're pretty old school analog people uh, here. <laughs> it's cool either yeah, way. So. The boom started like two to three years ago, I believe. Hmm. Was there ever a boom though? Or uh, do you think that it was already a growing community? Hmm, good question. Um, if we go back in time, um, actually around 2006, the first mm. board game cafe popped up. It was Game Crab, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but then again, at that time, you know, social media wasn't um, yeah, big thing a big thing, yeah. so it didn't um, boom up. Um, I could say, yeah, like what you said, it started up um, two, three years after um, with the emergence of a lot of board game cafes. Oh, so yeah. Say Ludo, um, what else? Um, Appraisery, the other board game role play, the other board game um, cafes just keep on popping up. And as such, games are, you know, games are suddenly in demand, not just yeah, for the are. games, um, not just for the owners, but also for the people who would like to play board games themselves. We actually recently got into board games too, pero yeah. hindi kami aware na they're actually called tabletop games. We always just call them board, board games. games. Uh -huh. yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's actually a distinction when, when you say tabletop. And board games? Yeah. Mm. When you say tabletop, it's implied na there's miniatures, figurines. Ah, yeah. Oh. You think of uh, Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons, yeah. um, Warhammer, things like mm. that. Warhammer. But if you and say Star Wars, mm, game. Star Wars game that has figurines too. Exactly. Uh, but if you say board games, you know, where we fall in line more with Monopoly, Risk, yeah. anything that happens on the board. That's actually a lot of what people start with, though. Yeah, I started personally with, um, are you familiar with that Mabuhay Games, Millionaire's Game? Millionaire's yeah, Game. That's totally not game. Monopoly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I started out with that, and then Games of the Generals. Games yeah. of the Generals, I think we oh, all have okay. a history with that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. No. It actually started out with those, but is there like a difference in how it sort of mutated, like from something simple to something more complicated with the story? Mm. Like you look at uh, tabletop games now, there there are are, there's a lot of lore included, a lot. Oh of yeah, um, I think it had something to do with the emergence of you know geek culture as a whole. Um, Dungeons and Dragon, Dungeons and Dragons, pretty much led the way. So people would would probably want to play Dungeons and Dragons, but won't have the time to commit. Yeah, yeah that's very it's true. It's a very time-consuming game. Yeah, so they probably turned, you know, they made board games out of it. They made th smaller versions of games, along with it, the story as well. And some games actually incorporate their storylines into their games, just like Betrayal mm -hmm. on House on Haunted Hill. It's yeah, like, yeah. what's that game? Cabin in the it's like Cabin oh, in the okay. Woods. The game. I'm yeah. familiar with the book. <laughs> I know it's um, yeah. It's actually like 
Did they cascade it from the book? Or? I don't know. It feels like it, though. Um, when you think about it, there's a bunch of dudes in house, in mm -hmm. the house. They yes. explore the house. Bad things happen to them. It's a typical... They actually make a lot of games based on pop culture, too. Like, before yeah. there was... Uh, there's also a Game of Thrones game, right? Yeah. yeah. There's even the zombie theme game. Zombies, zombie Cthulhu, zombie. Yeah, um, exactly. Cyberpunk, NECA mm, games. Yeah. So what really, the e possibilities are endless. Yes, whatever kind of floats game. the culture, whatever way you want. Gangster games, cooking oh, games, yeah. like sky's the limit. It's a progressing hobby. Uh, so true. It's actually pretty interesting. Speaking of progressing, we also learned that you actually develop your own games. <laughs> So would you tell us what you have prepared for us over here oh, right now? Um, yeah, actually, I have here my first two games. Um, first of them, the first is uh, um, the first is Chaos Cafe. It's a 16 card game. You know, it's just a um, it's just 16 cards, but it it's a game that you can play for up to four players. Four players. Okay. Yes. And they how does it go? Um, basically, you just try to pass mystery food around. Uh -huh. Hoping that your other friends will not snatch it from you. Oh. But sometimes, of course, your friends snatch it from you. Yeah, so because it's a game. You have to win. <laughs> yeah, you have to win. Sometimes they snatch it from you. So what you do is you send them bad food. So hoping that oh. they would snatch they would it. They snatch that instead. They, oh. yeah, it's, okay. It has really... I got a good card though. <laughs> yeah, and the artwork is pretty. By the way, I'd like it's to... Actually, oh, yeah, it's actually really pretty. Yeah, I'd like yeah. to bring up everything here from the card to the artwork to the card design. Everything is made locally. You know, it, oh. this is an this is an exercise to show that it is possible to do board games locally. Because well, from what I see, um, before I started designing, I did a quick study. Most of the games that are created here, they either are sold outside or the people wow. go outside and have them. Yeah, it's kind of like oh. a brain drain situation. So oh. I was like, no, oh, no, maybe we could make something here locally. Yeah, I'll try it out. Good. So after blood, sweat, and tears, we have this <laughs> game. We have ma we have chaos cafe. Yeah, chaos cafe. and we also have my second game, which is who got? Who got? Oh, there. Okay. Um. Quick question: Is it like inspired from the current pop culture yeah, reference of a lot of who got? Ah, uh, yeah. Actually, that's there's a funny story about that game. Um, I was going through a breakup at the time. Oh. <laughs> let's start. Let's start oh. there. But that's okay. okay. That's like it's okay now. But I have this friend who keeps on spamming my timelines with posts from um, poems porn. Okay. Uh, the, okay. the typical hugot like post. And I was like, Berlin art parasite. Yes. Lebanon. And I was like, you know what? If you don't stop doing those things, I'm going to make a board game about you. <laughs> she did not stop. Now we have a board game. Wow. Oh <laughs> and God. how do you play it? Oh, um, yeah. it's really simple. Um, if you are familiar with... Um, cards work? again, or how who work too? It's kind of like cards against it's humanity right. with who got. So oh, you have okay. question cards that say, "Kamusta si X?" Oh, this is good. Si X ay parang elepante. Yes, ah. this, uh, so don't, so do really dear X, don't blame mo. me. I just drew it. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you come? Oh wait, we have another one here. Oh yeah. So would you um, mind telling us about it? Sure. This is. But it's on paper, not. Really yeah, on it's cards. still. Yeah, it's still being. Um, Worked it's on as the moment. It's refrigerators. It's basically a game about mice trying to raid a ref without being caught. Oh. It's a pusher luck game. Nothing fancy. It's just really cute mice getting food. But there's also strategy in there. Okay. Mm. I, I try when I make games. I try to capture an experience. For example, in Chaos Cafe, the experience is you know um, ordering good food and trying it, trying to. So make yeah. it relatable in other yes. words. Yes. Um, in who got the experience is the experience of who got, which we can <laughs> oh, all yeah. relate to. Um, in refrigerators, it's the thrill of raiding something while not being caught. Yeah. Oh. Mm. The pictures are also really cute. These are also made locally. Yes. Um, this is made by another local studio, Tactile Studios. I think we're yeah, going to talk, talk about that later. Yeah, later. But that yeah, later. that's the thing. You know, people create games, and I'm really happy that people like James and Tactile are, you know, um, looking into our creations and helping us, you know, developing those games from ideas to fruition. So when did you start yeah, developing your developing. own though? Oh, um, developing actually started two years ago, okay. 2014. Um, 2015, I started, I actually had a concrete game, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, um, 2016, I ended up releasing Who Got in the public. 
um, it was a self-published thing. I made everything, paid for everything. It was just 30 copies. But I managed to sell them within, you know, within the year. Oh, so there's cool. that. Chaos Cafe followed. It has it's a hundred copies. It's still being sold right now. Oh. In your friendly local board game shops and on our mm. Facebook page. And since I got you know what um since one of my goals as well personally is to try out the three ways to publish a game. So self publish is done. Now I'm gonna oh, okay. get other people involved. Yes, now I'm working on getting published by a publisher and eventually, who knows, I might try a Kickstarter. Oh, that mm. would be cool. So what, what do you look forward to when you see people play though? Yeah. Oh yeah, I look <laughs> forward to them having fun. Um, there's this one time that I, there's this board game place in Monumento, um, Playground. Hello, Playground people. Um, <laughs> we, I usually go there and just hang out. Yeah. So people, and I also have copies of Chaos Cafe and, uh, and Who Got There. So people would just go there, get Who Got from the shelves, and then they'd play it, and then I'd see them laugh or cry or <laughs> cry. Like, you oh, know, as a rin lang sa oh, isa. Yes, actually, yeah. Uh, you know, you know how it goes. Yeah. And I was, I, I, I'm just staring at them. Oh, this is. This is not expected, but it's oh. fine. <laughs> There's some play. reaction. Yes, you know, um, I, I'm happy when I see people happy playing my games because that's basically our team's goal. Our, the goal of our group, the Epic Gaming Regiment, is to make games that you and I can play. Mm. Oh, okay, that's actually good. Yeah, it's very good. Like, it's relatable games. Mm -hmm. It's and funny games. It's <laughs> funny games. It's uh, games that elicit kind of emotions. Sort yeah, of yes. actually. Yun nga, kasi you didn't expect that someone would start crying, crying with yeah. this good game. I totally did not. <laughs> <laughs> and it was at that place in Monumento. Yes. Wow. So where the, where can we find your games at cafes? Aside, yeah. Oh, um, Are there specific locations? Specific yeah. locations. There's Table Taft near... Taft. La yes, in La Salle, oh. and there's oh, I know that area. Um, playground in Monumento. Okay. Um, aside from that, unfortunately, you don't have other places. But um, so they who can purchase it? Okay. Yeah, who got is gonna be published within the year. Oh. Um, refrigerators as for Tactile Studios will be ready within the year. So and far, so we good. can buy it where. Oh. Where is we, it gonna be sold? Yeah. Um, uh, who got will be sold in your local neutral grounds. Neutral grounds. Shop. Um, I don't know how refrigerators will be distributed, but in both cases, we have a page in Facebook. Uh, oh, it's the Epic Gaming Regiment. You just search it out. You can order from us directly, and you know, maybe I'll add something in, like an, an extra card or two. So right before we end, I'd like you to say your Facebook page again. Oh, Would you sure. like yeah. to pu uh, publicize yourself? <laughs> go ahead. Maybe, probably not. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> go um, ahead, go yeah. Ahead. Um, um, first of all, I'd like to thank you guys for. Yeah, taking in here. Um, Thank you. I, I'd also like to share our page. Uh, we have our page. It's the Epic Gaming Regiment. Really small font. Um, you could search us in Facebook. We're in Facebook and we're also in Instagram. Oh, okay, same name. Same name, the Epic Gaming Regiment. You just find us out there. Once you find it out, you know, you could just like our page. Really appreciate it. Follow our updates. We actually have some a lot of things going on now. Um, especially at the end of the month, malapit na rin yung aming yeah. anniversary. Oh, oh, we're gonna have a couple of, yeah, thanks. We're gonna have a lot of things going up for all, all right. of you guys. So a lot we're of things to look forward to. Yes. Unfortunately, that's all, all the time we have yeah. left with Thomas. Thank you again for having, for agreeing to yeah, be with us here in Hobby yes. Life. Yes. No problem. Uh, the it's next our segment, we're going to be still talking about tabletop, but still another talking. angle of it. So stay tuned after the commercials. Thank you. <laughs>